insects are all around us very beautiful also very harmful also like mosquitoes or house fly and these in insects are the part of arthropoda poda means feet and arthro is jointed so the animals that belong to arthropoda have jointed legs then they have an open circulatory system that means no blood vessels blood is inside the body respiration is by trachea in insects gills in prawn and then there are spiders also actually in arthropoda there are three further subdivisions insecta crustacea and arachnida the example of insects you know cockroach mosquito etc and the example of crustacea is prawn and arachnida is spider the number of legs varies insects three pairs of legs crustacea four or five arachnida four the spider has four pairs of legs while the insects have only three pairs of legs and their body is also segmented their body is divided into head thorax and abdomen but in the case of prawns the head and thorax is joined together to form cephalothorax the most fascinating thing is the shells what are these shells they are actually also animals and they belong to the group mollusca the most important feature of mollusca is that they have external or internal shell shell is made up of calcium carbonate they have open circulatory system siloam is reduced and for their movement they have a muscular foot if you see a snail it will look as if nothing is there and it is just lying there but if it is left undisturbed it slowly starts moving a muscular foot comes out and that helps it to move then how does shell move the foot just drags it there are some animals like octopus which have internal shell and all these members are aquatic so the examples are snail which is called pila then unio octopus these are various mollusks 